Welcome everyone to this week's epic vlog as many of you have been waiting for. It is my wife's grandma's ceremony. This is a very rare ceremony and has practices that are very rarely seen and caught on camera. So I'm really delighted to share it with you and let's get on with it. Happy day everybody. You got all tip on Uncle Mang Bamboo. Sitting in front of Uncle Mang Bamboo. Yeah. yeah, you have fun, right? Enjoy what he say. Very cute. <laughs> you go very cute. He say, "Mommy, feel me." I gonna say, "Happy day, everybody." So as you can see, all the villagers have turned out to help build the heaven stairs that my wife has mentioned previously in a vlog. It's 108 stairs that will take her grandma's soul to heaven. And the reason the villagers do this, they all come and chip in, they're not being paid or anything like that. They do it for what in Thai we call tambon, which means merit, tambon. Um, you can get tambon by releasing a fish uh, that was going to be eaten or used as a pet, that's tambon. You can get tambon just by helping out. Um, it's just good juju, good karma. And so that's what they're all doing here and they're all having fun doing it too. It's always wonderful to see how the Thai people come together as a community to help each other. These people don't have much, but what they do have, they put to good use. And whenever somebody needs some land clearing, or maybe they're making a chili paste together, or cooking up a community pot, um, anything really that they need help with, they work together as a community and they share what they have. They're very kind, happy, giggly uh, people. They're always joking and laughing. They're a lot less serious than those you may meet in the city, in Bangkok or whatnot. Um, I wish I could be half as relaxed as they are in life and at peace with themselves as they are. Now I should mention that this is Damo's grandma's ceremony that they've all come together for to help or to get merit, whatever it is. And Damo's grandmother actually passed away 10 years ago, but they've kept her ashes in, a, in an urn at the house here. This ceremony is about moving those ashes from the urn to a new resting place uh, by the temple where a pagoda has been built. And you're going to see some of the weird and wonderful parts of this ceremony. Many of the locals have been driving past and coming checking in because it's so rare to see this. It's a very, very old ceremony and actually it can be quite expensive. So not everybody can get it done. And the fact that it is expensive is going to play a role in some of the traditions and parts of the ceremony that we're going to show you in this vlog. Uh, I've been surprised and I've learned things that I never knew um, about Thai culture and their belief systems here. The attention to detail that they take in every little ornamental part of the ceremony, every little aspect of it is really astounding. They're using all natural materials, but you can see the banana stumps here. This is all just big banana stumps and banana leaves. These are all natural things that cost absolutely nothing and they have the expertise to fashion them into amazing ornamental features ready for the ceremony. The amount of preparation that's gone into this, it's actually been going on for four days. Without getting too philosophical, when your mind is calm and focused, you can do little crafts like this. You can make little uh, art, detailed art. Uh, if your mind's all busy and you're stressed and you're in a different place, you just can't make things this, this delicate. It's, it's strange to me how they all come together and they just know what to do without any leader or any organizer to say, you know, this is what we're doing now, this is what we're doing now. They function like a complex organism, just putting it all together and they all kind of just know what it's going to look like and what they're doing and, and how it's going to come out in the end. It's very, very impressive. 
Now, as well as the aesthetics, the other important part of what's going on here is the music. So let's just listen to a little bit of the music that's playing and watch the old lady dance here. I think it's just stunning. Now more of that music later and a lot of interesting music and a show that we're going to be having this evening uh, It's going to include all of that but now let's just go back to the flowers that they are preparing uh, they're getting them all together here and these flowers are to be placed one by one on the San Pagoda. Uh, this is such a temporary construction. All of this effort just for this few hours of a ceremony, um, it, it really is fascinating that people get together to put all this effort in and it's only going to last for a few hours and it's all going to fall to, to pieces. <laughs> ดอกรักดอกรักดอกรักรออามาจากไหนมาจากมาจากขาเหรอที่หน้าเหรอมันมันดูทะลุเวลาไหมมีมีใช่มั้ยมันโดนยาใหญ่เหรอโดนมันส
นองหัวกูน้อยกูอยากจำกมิงทมุกอาบกระปูจีวิตได้แม่ทนตึกทนอ๋อแบงอ้อยเอาเปล่าบานอ๋อคำกระทิมซาปลักแมลงดมจื้อแม่ตั้งปีตรีปัญเชิญพวกกงจุกบำบัดพักจุกละนุ่งตรัมบำแม่มันเลี้ยงมันเก็บถุงจอกจ่ารูถ้าบางชกชกกระนองพวกแม่ก็มาต้องจื้อกุ้งจี้กุ้งมุกพลังมีบางพระอัตราวาชาเยี่ยมเธอการุ่งกันกุ้งถังกระนองตำรานข้าวถังหาเธอจนสอบบางบานกุ้งเอาแม่เอาคุ้งจอกจำเป็นเรารู้สังกอกกระไดそう as we draw closer to the start of the ceremony, everybody's getting merry, having a little dance. This is Damo's sister in the blue dress. She is visiting from Germany, so nice to have her back here for a while. She will be featured on the vlog in other vlogs at some point, I'm sure. Now they're starting to place all the flowers on the sand, and it's so delicate as they do it. They put a little hole in there and stick the flowers stem in. And of course, this is Damo's father, so the funeral here is his mother. So it's a very sacred day for him. Usually, on a normal day, he may have some rice whiskey or something like that, but he's not drinking at all、uh, through this time. Having fun? Yeah. Are you really though? Because you don't like those loud noises, do you?、Yeah. Those fireworks. So the ceremony is broken down into multiple parts. We just had the raising of the flags, and now we have the monks. So the monks are all sitting, and they're going to do like a chant and a prayer. People have offered them the food here, or the offering, and then they're going to also do some like question and answers and tell some stories of、uh, the Buddha. The chanting from the monks is particularly nice. I've always enjoyed it. It's very calming and relaxing. These monks, some of them are from Uncle Monk's temple. Some of them have been buzzed, bussed in from other locations. This is a very important day for Damo's family. It's unusual to have so many monks、uh, bussed in for this kind of thing, but、uh, they have waited ten years for it. Uh, Damo's mother is、uh, very, very happy to finally be doing this because she sees it as laying、uh, the grandmother to rest in her final resting place. So it's such an important day for her, and it's quite a spectacle to see as well.、Uh, very few people have actually seen this particular ceremony, and so even the Thai people that have turned up said that they've never been to one of these before, or those older ones that have. Did many, many, many years ago. So very interesting. <laughs> And as the chanting comes to an end, it's time for some lunch for everybody. So there's lots of things being cooked up here, lots of different selections for people. And as ever with ties, they gather together and eat together, and then on with a little bit of dancing. So this is the main ceremony beginning, 
uh, now and we're going to be moving and setting up for the evening so we have a big show in the evening that um, requires a full stage and there's a lot of people coming I'm surprised at how well all of this has gone so far absolutely without a hitch everything's organized everyone's eaten it really is um, well organized with no particular organizer though I know my wife and her mother has been working very very hard over the past few days to make sure that that happens So as the stage is set up, ready for the Ligue music that we're going to have this evening, you can see lots of little shop owners are setting up their stalls too. We have a bouncy castle for the kids. We have lots of little different food stalls and a very big stage. And it's now as night time falls that we enter what I consider to be the most interesting part of this ceremony. As you can see, we have lots of people laying down and what they're doing is pretending to be dead. They have their belongings with them under the sheets, the things that they want to take to the afterlife like a pharaoh in, in the tomb. The reason that they do this is because they fear that they will not have the money or nobody will do the cer this particular ceremony for them when they actually die. So they pretend to die now and undergo the ceremony up the stairway to heaven and they've chosen the belongings that they want to take with them. Remember, a ceremony like this, a big one like this, may cost anything from 200 to 500,000 baht. In this case, it was 500,000 baht for everything. And that's expensive. A lot of the farmers and local Thai people couldn't afford such a ceremony. So they capitalize on this one and have the monks pray for them and chant for them and send their souls up to heaven. So it's very odd to see because obviously it looks like lots of dead bodies in bags. Uh, when I first saw it and learned about this myself, I thought, wow, this is very, very unique and interesting. I've not seen anything like it before. And Damo explained to me the reasons why they do it, which I find uh, equally interesting. So they're making the most of this big ceremony, and it's good for them that we're having it, because uh, otherwise they may never have the chance again to do this. Maybe I should have put on a white sheet myself, and gathered some things that I'd like to take up the heaven staircase. <laughs> So as you can see, the stage is quite an epic setup. This is Ligue music, and the reason Damo's mum chose to put this in is because her grandma really loved these kind of shows and music. I was shocked to hear that so many people were going to be arriving. As you can see, there's probably around 150, maybe a little bit more. And also surprised to know that this show would go on from 8pm to 6am in the morning. Uh, it's a non-stop show, it begins with the dancing, um, the traditional dancing, and then they do like a comedy show, and it's just like acting and comedians for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> 
So after a long late night, many of the audience actually slept in front of the stage, including many of the older ties, it's time for the final chapter of this ceremony, which includes the construction of her grandma's pagoda at the temple. They're going to move her grandma's ashes from the house after the stair ceremony that's just been completed to the temple at the point of her new pagoda. They're constructing this pagoda. Again, it's a team effort. It's placed right at the temple, just around the corner from where we live. And they've run pieces of string throughout the whole path from the house to this temple, which I found very interesting. They're literally all over the place. So the next job is for everybody to make the parade from the house to the new pagoda. So as the final part of the ceremony, they've arrived at the pagoda and you'll be able to see that string that I was talking about that's run right from the house. Here they're doing the final blessing and giving the offering to the spirits that like Fanta and uh, Leo and rice whiskey. Sometimes you give the favourite drinks of the ancestors to them for good luck and to bless the ceremony. So now we're bringing her and uh, bringing her ash put in the new house for put in the polka uh, pagoda for her. So that's it guys, the end of the ceremony. We hope you've really enjoyed it. I just want to give a special thanks to all the names in this list here that support the production of this content as we strive to put less ads in our content and improve their artistic value uh, without interruption. We thank you so much. Thanks for joining us on this journey uh, throughout the years. And we hope that you really got something from it today and got a unique insight into this very special ceremony. Stay well, everybody.